redneck snack or laugh is too short to be serious. Today's just been my catch up day um, for a couple places. I needed to just catch up on some reviews, uh, have the time, and there's not many things to go out and review. So we're all good here. So, Chicken Joy. I've never had the regular Chicken Joy, which is interesting. I've had their chicken sandwiches. Oh my goodness, they are good. They are good. Nice, crispy flavor. And then that, whatever they put on there, like a mayo type of buttery mayo thing. Ooh, so good. I recommend y'all these uh, chicken sandwiches. Top five for sure for me. Um, but I've never had their spaghetti either. I know a lot of McDonald's out there have spaghetti. I think the ones in the Philippines do. So it's interesting that a Philippines restaurant, Filipino fried chicken restaurant, is here in Virginia Beach. Uh, it's a chain. There's not many in Virginia. This might be the only one in Virginia. I don't know about DC or Northern Virginia, but I know that there's not one near this one. So we're enjoying it. We're enjoying it. I've done a couple of reviews here, so I'm used to coming here. I'm used to coming here. Uh, so I thought they were giving me a leg, but it looks like a thigh. Either way, it's a piece of chicken. Makes no difference to me. And, uh... There you go. So please go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share, and check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack. I'm not false advertising here. I'm not eating the spaghetti for this review. I'm going to eat what I came for. It looks like it is a thigh. And as you can see, it says spicy. Ooh. All right. So, this is a little piece of bread. I'm going to go ahead and pop that into my mouth. Mmm. Mm. Okay, it's got a little bit of a kick. So here we go. Mm. Okay. Nice and crispy. I don't think I'm a huge fan of the flavor here. It's not bad. I've had better fried chicken. Hmm. It's definitely piping hot, that's for sure. The uh, chicken is nice, juicy, tender, and hot, fresh. Hmm. It's hard for me to eat anything other than the breading. just because the chicken is hot but i don't know it's got good heat i would say it's probably a little bit spicier than the diablo sandwich that i had um you know a few weeks ago because i don't think i'm gonna get this for you up um anytime soon but overall it's got a nice tender crispy flavor um, got a little bit of saltiness to it, as, you know, any breading should. And definitely carries with a nice kick. Not that that's going to kill you. It might kill my grandma. She hates spicy. She hates it. So, uh, kind of does remind me, you know, how you go to Bojangles and a lot, or Popeyes. A lot of their chicken seems to have a bit of a kick. That's the kind of heat level I get here. It's kind of like a Popeyes, Southern Kitchen type of heat vibe. Um, not over the top, but it's pleasing. You know, it, it adds that flavor profile, that next step to what any chicken needs. So it's not Nashville hot heat, but it's a nice soothing, okay, cool. Not lighting me up, but it's making me think things other than, okay, I'm just eating a piece of chicken and it's nice and juicy and tender and savory but now you also got these other things kicking into your taste buds so i don't know i i'll give it a seven you know i 
I like it. It's the the chicken's really nice and flavorful and juicy, but again, it it could be spicier. Definitely could be spicier. So we're gonna be fair. We're not gonna overrate it, but we're not gonna underrate it. So seven out of ten. I don't know. Joel Lee has some interesting items. I definitely recommend you go try them, whether you try this item or not. They're a cool place. So if you got one, you're very lucky, and you go try them. Not quite as good as Chick Fil A, but it's a fun place, and I was I had so much fun uh, discovering it. So hopefully you go try them out. If you don't, well, you're lost. Anyways, yeah, you can get fried chicken with spaghetti. Try it out. Other than that. I will see y'all around.